I had a, a very um, uh, encouraging high school biology teacher who introduced himself to me even before I started high school. He saw me at a science fair and said that he would be my teacher the following year, and that was great. And uh, you know, he kind of nurtured my interests all along. And this, and and I kept uh, touch with him even since then. And on the day of the Nobel Prize announcement, he sent me an email. I think I think what, what one of the well one of my strengths I think that that uh, served me well was I I have a creative bent I look at things a little differently and I and I don't like to do what other people are doing uh, I don't like to compete with people on you know trying to do the same thing only doing it somehow faster I I just that, that doesn't interest me um, uh, and I'm persistent, uh, and uh, you know when I establish a, a big goal I, that's wor worthwhile, I, I almost never give up, <laughs> and that, that's paid off. Um, and uh, over the years, my personality has changed, though. I think in high school and in college, I was more of a loner and uh, reclusive, maybe, uh, not, not social at all but I've become much more social as I've grown older. So I actually enjoy being in, you know, meeting lots of people, being in big crowds, talking to people. Uh, you know, I can't imagine when I was a kid ever, ever having valued anything like that. <laughs> so, you know, one changes. And those, uh, I would say, newer skills have served me well mm -hmm. since then. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can speak to large audiences. I feel perfectly comfortable doing so. I actually quite enjoy it.